So I've had some people asking why I don't have intros or outros on any of my videos. Um, well, there are a couple of reasons. Reason number one being that I recorded everything in mass sections um, and didn't record intros or outros at the time. Reason number two being by the time I started editing, um, if I were to go back and fake the intros or outros, like, oh, here's the loading screen, it would reflect that my character was a much higher level than what was accurate in the video. Um, so I ultimately decided that intros and outros were just not going to be a thing um, for this series specifically. In future series, you can expect to have intros and outros for every episode. I'm hoping to get a custom outro done before I start releasing my next series. However, um, as you can tell, we're only on episode 6 here, and my character is level 34. So, um, it was a combination of forgetfulness and laziness, but expect to see better in future, um episodes future series i should say and also this isn't even the outfit that i had her wearing um by the time i was done um as you can see i have a lot more help i have a lot of different options for cosmetics um and you know it just <laughs> it just didn't make sense for me to go back and try and fake it. I would have rather had to make this video explaining, this this little clip explaining why they're not present than um, trying, to, trying to fake it until I made it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys will enjoy the series anyway. I'm hoping that no intros and outros will mean a more seamless transition between episodes. Like the story continues from episode to episode because that was the idea. But uh, yeah. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Why is the restricted section so much bigger? There's a lot of restricted knowledge. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this world. Yeah, hold that thought. There's a chest down here. Alright, cool. Continue. Gotcha. Uh. Lumos. No? Okay, how about this one? Leviosa. I wonder if I can hit the rune with a spell. Akio! Hmm. 
Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Avelio. Didn't even get to read what that uh, achievement was. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the enemies will do that. So you gotta watch your feet. if I just Okay. I can't believe we can't get that chest. That's kind of kind of bullshit. This must be the way forward, but to where? Wait, what happened? There's a chest. Uh, on the side of the map that you can't you go get it. No, you can't because you can't reach it. No, you can get it. Go back. If you see a chest, most likely you're able to get it, unless it's obviously blocked by a spell. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Clean that up. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Okay, so chest over here. All right. You're smart, so you'll figure this one out really fast. If so, I, give you any kind I of did thing. Akio in it. No, it's nothing like that. Uh, I'll give you a small hint. You ever took a leap of faith? Don't actually take one here. It's here. There you go. So you're smart. You know this shit already. The game is cool like that. I think that's the one and only time I ever saw this be used in the game. But I thought it was. Awesome. Then again, I never looked for it again, so, you know. Run, 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 run. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. So, there's a platform here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Keep my wits about me. Go Why is this such a large... Did I really? Yep. 
helping me. Why is this such a large what? Why is this such a large area? So you can explore. <laughs> okay, so obviously we gotta jump here. Smack that. Nice. Hey. I keep getting sh but I don't oh you know what? It works. I don't feel like going in and <laughs> equipping it. It's so much yeah. work. It really is usually. And that is one of the other reasons I don't care to explore because it doesn't really do anything. I think if anything it only gives you more defense and why do you need defense if you don't get hit? Like, sometimes it gives you offense. But, like... Eh. I don't know. I feel like the stats are kind of, like, kind of ignorable. Eh? I got a cape! Don't care about my cape. You know what? I won't change the appearance on that because it doesn't look too bad without it already. So, anyway, moving on. Uh huh. I see you guys. Yep. Who's next? You got it, buddy. I really like the combat in this game. Like, it feels so nice, you know? It's so flowy and like, having the freedom to be what you want. Alright, here we go. Ready? Oh! It's good because I don't have any heals right now. <laughs> well, good job, you're doing the protect go more. <sighs> yeah, you can dodge roll. Although I do recommend moving it, it to a key that is better to dodge roll on because the control key is really annoying. Yeah. I put it on my mouse buttons, so. I also have mouse button. Yeah, if you're comfortable with those, it could work. Uh okay. <laughs> Holy f this is a long mission. Oh. Oh, it's the founders. Mm-hmm. If it was the founders, there'd be another uh, woman in the group. Wait, what? Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, Salazar Slytherin, and Godric Gryffindor. 
the founders oh. of Hogwarts. So these aren't the founders? No, they are not. Oh. But they are ancient magic users. Wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. Well, damn, we're doing this a little bit backwards, huh? A magic this powerful can do great harm <laughs> in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian! Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. What the f Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Did he betray you here? No, no, he didn't. <laughs> Imagine, though, that would have been f funny. Like, he betrays all the guys, but not the girl. <laughs> well, I, I didn't mean it like that. I meant it more of a, like, um... Did you have incorrect interactions with him to the point where he betrayed you? See, that would have made more sense, but I think that we had the same interactions with him regarding the, the, the things he said. Like, I also was like, yo, dude, I don't want you to get in trouble for me. Oh, there's one in the library. I should go check the library. Yes. 
Another health token for the house chest. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. An Rebellion. Orphan. It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below us. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Don't tell me it's one of these people. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Meet the champion coming through. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Incendio. Nicely 
done. Kill. Incendio. Levioso. Akio. Incendio. Excellent fall. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. It was only a training dummy. True, but it's a difficult dummy. Believe me, I know. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more hey, formidable in crossed ones. Okay, Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Yeah, it's the final round of crossed ones. Child. Big match today. Yeah, but it all comes down to this. The moment that we find out that the training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Give me my boy. Yes, sir. Then let's get started. Here, let's go. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. God, there's four of them now. out of you that round good to try again yes i'm ready now very well good luck out there I could never jewel like that. What a victory! You've won the tournament! I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned a tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Probably do that, buddy. <laughs> Is she growing pungent onion again? Good 
morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it's it is to see you again, Nora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, uh, um, uh, a little the fact that her name is Garlic. <laughs> oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest Lovely. rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends okay. a bit more comfortable, shall we? I'm back. First, let's protect our ears. Oh, Speak again. Now, everyone, Why is my headset dead? Rip the mandrake by the dying. and give it a firm tug. Why did you stall so long to do that? Because I I wasn't entirely sure what I was doing. The soil should envelop oh, okay. the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone! Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Thing on the out like that. I wonder if hippogriffs <laughs> like mock grass. Yes, back Professor. To the Firstly, day. well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Thank you for listening, neighbor. Well done! <laughs> Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, yeah. what say we branch out? Introduce you to a right, I'll be different right back you sort of flora, the yep. Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Great. Hey. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. 
I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Hufflepuffs too. At least you did. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping... Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they... Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other this plants, man too. Thirsty for me? Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Should like Black Joss make a friend. from the ministry guarding no. the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely... Well, like, look, they made friends, and then it turns out they didn't make friends, because, well... I guess they made friends, but they didn't survive. Oh, so sad. Ah. Hmm. Why am I in general chat? Everybody ran off, so we followed them. Oh. Let me take my bladder to the bathroom. Oh. Are you playing uh, Hogwarts meta? Oh, good stuff. Guardian is the herbal. You accidentally killed the woofer feather. Your character's so pretty. Good hair color to go with the Hufflepuff. The outfit colors really match. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion 
might come in handy. Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some. Oh, Sammy, I just had a meltdown. Aww. Okay, you're old. That happens. Before no, no, no. today's class is completed, each uh, of you will have brewed a wig. You remember well Jim, the one who got arrested for messing with Jackie? Own. What do you think of that guy? He's a Weasley. So, uh... What do you mean he's a Weasley? Are you being... What, you don't like hey, Weasleys? Hey, Stanny. Damon, you're back. Welcome back. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you. I was here. i just been distracted. On your... Everything good? Anyway, how do you like I'll this guy? I'll get you the Fwoopa Feather. Which as guy? long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. Oh, the I guy on the screen? Yeah. Fwoopa Feather's the, on the back. The screaming man face? The autopsy? Wait thing? until you see yeah, what I'm growing. Hurry back Very, uh, interesting looking guy. Reminded me of the screamer. So, Stanny, what'd you think of the uh, removal of the tonsil stones I sent you?